Hi, I'm back today with a products I used up video. I wish I would have done this the last time I saved my empties, but I wasn't filming them because we didn't have a camera. So these are mostly health and beauty aids, skincare, whatever, less makeup, but that's okay. Um, it's a little bag of goodies here. So the first thing I have are these Equate Facial Cleansing Palettes, the original clean, which totally suck. These suck because, one, they're so dry, and why well, I bought this huge container of them, I don't know. There's a little plastic thing in there, but they just, they're too dry, so I don't like those. Next is the Pure Silk Shave Cream in Plumera Breeze. This is full, but I'm going to try to give it to somebody or toss it if nobody wants it because this thing made my legs itch like crazy. Like I felt like I had a rash or I don't know, some kind of allergic reaction, but my legs were so itchy and it wasn't like you could visibly see where it would be itchy, but they were just so itchy. So no go for that. Next. This is disgusting because it was in my shower. Is the Satin Care Olay Shave Gel, which I really like. This is really nice. Um, I like the Satin Care brand and what's the other one? Skin Timit? Yeah. Both of those are great. So I like that. The next thing I have is the Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut, which is empty. And I showed in another video, I had repurchased one of these. So I finished this up yesterday. And we're going to be starting on the new one. So, there's that. The next thing is the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Wipes in the blue, which is, I think, just the original one. Love, 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 love these. And no matter what cleansing wipes I try, these are the ones I go back to because they're fantastic. They're wet enough. They don't drag on your face. They're great. These, on the other hand, are horrible. They're the Simple Sensitive Skin Cleansing Face Wipes, and they're wet. The wetness is there, but they drag and pull your skin on your face, so I don't like those. Next is the Degree Motion Sense Clinical Protection Deodorant, which is my favorite deodorant. This is the Sheer Powder. Um, I repurchased this again and again. Love that. Next is the Crest Complete Whitening with Scalp. I like this one. It's in the Cool Peppermint. It's the, I think it's a paste. Let's see, paste? Yeah, it's the paste. I don't like um, the gel kind of toothpaste. This one is nice. I also have the Tree Hut Shea Butter, Shea Body Butter in Brazilian Nut, and it's empty as well. And I'm on another one of these because I just repurchased those again and again. Then I have the Revlon Photo Ready Primer in 001. And there's a little bit left in there, but I cannot get this top off. It's like on there. If I could get it off, I'd dig out every last drop of this, but I can't get it off. I might not pitch this yet. I might play with it and see if I can get that lid off somehow. It's a uh, glass though, so I don't want to break the bottle. Next, I have, I'm going to link this seller. She sells on Etsy and she has her own website. It's called SB Soaps. But this is Tropical Vacation Indulgence Whipped Body Butter. It's all natural. Um, it smells great. Like a tropical vacation. Just think of, I don't know. Um, what is that smell? I'm terrible. Am I terrible at describing smells? Yeah. It has a fruity island scent. It just smells really good. And I use this during the summer. I now have a biscotti. Almond biscotti? I'm not sure. I have another one from her now, and I really like it, too. Um, also in the summer, which I just finished, but obviously you can't put that in the bag, is a handmade soap, and I think it was Island Nectar which was really good, and then I just ordered a new one that I'm using now for fall, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, 
but I'll look it up and I'll post it below her link. Next I have Yardley London Oatmeal and Almond Soap. I'm really into natural things. I'm trying to get away from using parabens on my skin and products that are no good for you. So just trying out some new stuff. So I really like this. That's really nice. Next I have the Equate. Ew, hair. Gross. The Equate Oil-Free Ultra Gentle Facial Moisturizer. And it's paraben-free. And I really, really like this. I like this over any other facial moisturizer I tried for under your makeup. Um, it's really light and it absorbs quickly into the skin. I don't like anything that's real oily or heavy for under my makeup because it seems like it breaks my makeup down during the day. So that's great for under your makeup. Next I have this mascara which is completely gone. And I really like the brush on this. It's so dry now though. It's hard to, they're all clumped together. But um, this is the L'Oreal Lash Out Mascara in Black. And I don't even know if this is available anymore. Um, I haven't seen it, but it could be. I don't know. Next is the Garnier, 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 Garnier Ultra Lift Anti-Wrinkle Eye Roller. This is fabulous too. I really like this. Need to get another one. Um, with the cold ball, it feels really good when you put it on in the morning under your eyes. I only use that in the morning. Then I have a perfume, and this is the Pacifica Tahitian Gardenia perfume, and it smells so good. I love this little roller ball. I need to get another one, and I don't know where they sell them. I got this at Wegmans Grocery Store. I've had it for a long time. Um, it definitely has a floral kind of scent, but it's real light. You could definitely use this any time of the year, not just in the summer. Then I have a Kate Somerville Quench Oil-Free Hydrating Face Serum, which I got from Sephora as a sample. And I really liked this. Um, there was enough in here for three applications. I finished that up this morning. Then I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind eraser dark circle concealer and my color is 20 light pale and this is my absolute favorite concealer for under the eyes um, although I did just pick up the brightener shade instead of the light pale and give that a try I don't think I like it as much but I've only used it a week so the jury is still out on that then I have the Revlon color stay normal to dry skin makeup and my color is 200 nude and this is hands down my favorite foundation. I have one that is maybe taking over this one, but I want to use it a little longer before I decide. But I'll always have this in my makeup drawer. Whether the other one overtakes this one or not, I will always have this one in my makeup drawer. And last but not least are the Ardell Wispies in black, which I think I've wore those four or five times cleaning them off. I got four or five uses out of them, so I really liked those. All right, that's it for my empties, and until next time, see ya. Bye-bye.